Hey there, beautiful. Thank you so much for clicking my video. In today's video, I have two wigs in the same style, but two different colors, and they're brought to you by Hair Supply Shop. I'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store. The style of the wig that I have is Ultra Sleek Lay Part in the style Giovanna 22. The colors that I have is color 2 and DRFF4 slash Frosted Dark Blonde. Here is a close-up of what inside of the wig looks like. It comes as a middle part. Behind the parting space, you get two combs in the front, another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. The cap material is a stretch fit breathable material. And here is the frosted dark blonde straight out of the package. I love the color blend with the highlights and the low lights. And I love the way how the roots fade into the color. There's no harsh line of demarcation. So the hairline comes pre-plucked. And you get baby hairs on the hairline. The middle part comes lightly pre-plucked as well. But I would like to go in and smooth out the hairline just a little bit more and get the front to frame my face, especially since it have highlights. So I'm going in with my and this hot comb and the temperature setting that I have it on is number five. And I'm just taking the hot comb and I'm pushing the front of the roots back but not all the way through because i don't want the heat to go in and mess up the curl like i said i just want that front to frame my face compared to how it comes This is how it looks after I'm all done. I really didn't do much, but push back the hairline to look a little bit more smooth. Now I'm gonna cut off the extra lace in the front. I like to use eyebrow scissors. So I just pulled the baby hairs back and cut right along the hairline. Here is the color number two straight out of the box. I'm not gonna show you guys how I style the color number two because the same steps that I did on the dark blonde color is the same steps that I did on the color number two. If you guys are interested in my bonnet, this is from the Drea Michelle brand. I'll leave a link below to it if you're interested. First up, I'm gonna start with the color number two. A lot of y'all already know my secret move when I need the lace to blend in with my skin more. So I'm gonna go in with this NARS foundation. It is a shade darker than me. I take one pump of this. I usually like to use a paper towel, but I'm using a piece of tissue today. Smudge some of that product onto the tissue, and then I wipe the foundation on top of the lace. It's been a while since I really combed some curls out on a synthetic wig for a review. So with this one, I'm going in with a wide tooth comb, starting from the ends, working my way up to the roots, and just lightly combing out the curls. Combing out the curls to me helps the wig look more like a virgin wig install. Yes, this is a synthetic wig, but I'm trying to fake it till I make it. So I love the curls. It's giving me virgin hair vibes that's why i picked this color you do not have to comb out the curls this is just optional Ooh. 
right here is my end result and i am loving the curls i am a big fan of curls that come out like this this is a really nice affordable look that won't break the bank the hair texture feels silky this wig does come with a shine so i do recommend applying some dry shampoo i applied mine's off camera the crown area of the wig is flat on my hair. I do need to redo my braids, so I'm glad it's not coming off that high. The length of the wig on me, I would say, is 20 inches with the curls not stretched out, and my height is 5'6". The hair density is not thick at all and is definitely not on the low side either. I would more say it's in the middle, like about 150% hair density. My head circumference is 22 inches, so if you have a head size that's bigger than mine's, I feel like this wig can squeeze on a 23 inch head circumference, but I don't feel like it could squeeze on a 24 inch. If you have a smaller head, then I recommend crisscrossing the adjustable straps, or you can even insert your own elastic band so it could feel more secure. When I split the hair in the back, there isn't any track showing. You can't see my wig cap underneath either, and that's good because I have on a brown wig cap really love it i feel like it is beginner friendly especially if you're trying to get into the frontal look but not really deal with a frontal and i did not tack down all of the hairline i just put the wig on my head and styled the baby hairs for this wig show and tell you could definitely go in and glue down the hairline if you want or you could go ahead and wear glueless so now it's time for the dark blonde install I am not going to show you guys step by step of how I installed the dark blonde color because it's the same steps that I did with the color number two. Blend the hairline, do the baby hairs, fluff out the curls, and then boom. Oh, uh, now that I'm watching this video over, the dark blonde color came out good. The frosted dark blonde color came out good, but I wish I took my time and styled it a little better because the curls is coming off a little frizzy. I could have went in with some silicone spray and calmed down the curls and really let it look good, but <sighs> right here's my end results, y'all. Y'all already get the hint of this wig show and tell think i did too bad with the styling on this one i just see more potential that i could have did now that i'm watching it over but anyway when i was styling these wigs i got a few snags of tangling with the color number two but it came right out as for the dark blonde color i didn't get much tangling shedding super low on these wigs really low hair density i feel like the hair density on the blonde color is just a little thicker than the color number two maybe it's because i didn't really go in and comb out the curls with the wide tooth comb but i still love it at first i was a little nervous about trying out this wig because usually with ultra sleek lay part wigs it's not that flat at the top but this one could work i like it and honestly recommend if you guys have any questions feel free to comment below and i'll get back to them as soon as possible talk to you guys later